G'day, it's Jonathan here from Dawson Heating and Cooling. If you've noticed your Dakin split system's not working correctly, and there's a flashing light on the front of the indoor unit, that means your system's in fault. What we want to do is show you how to diagnose that fault and hopefully get that reset yourself. If not, it'll allow you to relay that information to your service tech so that they can come out and get it rectified for you. So the way we diagnose the fault is by using the wireless controller. This is one of the latest controllers, but you may find that your controller is slightly different, but the process is still very similar. What we first do is when we open up the front cover, you'll find there's a cancel button. What we need to do is push and hold that cancel button until the system beeps, and it'll then display an error code on the screen. We then need to continually push the cancel button until we hear a long beep. When we hear the long beep, the error code then indicates what the fault code is. In this example, we have an E7 fault. So now that we know what our fault code is, which in this case is an E7, we need to reference our Dakin fault code list, which you can find a link in the comments below. So once we've actually found our fault code, we now need to try and reset the system. We go to the outdoor unit and you'll generally see an isolator that looks like this sitting next to the outdoor unit. If you don't have an isolator next to your outdoor unit, you can find the circuit breaker in your switchboard, which will do the same thing. What we need to do is turn the isolator off, leave it off for at least 15 seconds, and then turn the system back on again. You then may find that the fault has been reset and the flashing light on the indoor unit is no longer there. If the light is still flashing on your indoor unit, this indicates you have more of a serious problem that can't just be rectified by a simple reset. So now what you're going to have to do is contact your local service agent, pass on the information that we have found from the fault code, and then they will come out and diagnose and repair the system for you. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.